My first guest tonight is an Oscar-winning documentarian who's taking on presidents, the NRA, General Motors, and Big Pharma. Please welcome Michael Moore. <laughs> Wow. Welcome back. Thank Welcome you back for to having the late me. Show. Thank you for having me here. Now, obviously, my first question to you tonight is this shutdown's your fault, right? Somehow, <laughs> you, with your documenting and your agitating, push the Democrats too far to the left with your, you know, your socialist Ocasio Cortezing, and you've painted Nancy Pelosi in a corner where she cannot accept the president's perfectly reasonable offer of I get everything and you get nothing. That's exactly what happened. Okay. Yes. So, the, uh... so today, so today, <laughs> we another roadblock, another yes. another window dressing uh, action in the Senate, where the Democrats had a bill, the Republicans had a bill. The Democrats got more votes than the Republicans did. Yeah. Republicans defected six. Six. What's yeah. this say? What does this say to you? Where, where do you think this thing's going? The American people don't support this They're, by a large margin. They don't support the wall. Mm -hmm. So he's not even paying attention to the polls he loves so much. So, and the odd thing is, if I can just jump yeah, in yeah, here for yeah. a second, the odd thing is, is that there's some who do, but even the people who do support creating the wall do not believe the shutdown is the way to get it. Exactly. Any sane person believes, even if they're for the wall, knows this is crazy that we're in month two of this. Nobody should be working without pay. Nobody on your crew, who on the Colbert show would work for free? For, I would. You a, would. It is an yes. honor. Yes. And it I, is an honor <laughs> to be here. And I Please would. edit this out and don't tell CBS. <laughs> <laughs> and I would be here too. Good. But, but Wait, I don't. we're paying you? Yeah. <laughs> I get a SAG minimum oh, okay, great. of like sure, sure, sure. $700 sure, yeah. or something. Yeah, sure. uh, that's a lot of money that's these days. That's not bad. No, those 800,000 people would love but that. But camera, camera 2 would not be here if, if, if you were in your second month and CBS not paying you. The band would not be here if you weren't being paid. How many months, how many months would you work John for free? John's got one foot out the door. He's a Grammy nominee. He doesn't need this stuff anymore. He's, He's gone. If this, <laughs> gone. If this goes... If, well, this, where, if, this goes, this if this goes for another month, he'll have his own show. That's true. You know? where, 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 where do you think this ends? How do you think it ends? Uh, does Trump fold? It, there, there's, there's, there's... there's an easy way to end it. Federal workers don't go to work without pay. <laughs> Nobody here would go to work without pay. Nobody there other than Joe the drummer. Nobody would go to work without pay. You know? <laughs> The, that, that's just a basic fact. And, and, and we, the people, we shouldn't be supporting anything that requires someone who's not paid working for us. We should not fly. You know, that, uh, don't fill out your tax return. Uh, uh, for the IRS, you, know, you can... Now, you hold, can, no, hold on. No, no, no. You can that legally... Is, I don't want my audience to go to jail. No, 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 don't go to jail. No, you don't, don't need to. They don't have TVs in jail. Go online to the IRS. Every American has the right to file a one-page form that lets you file on August 15th. Everybody has the right for an extension. All you got to do is ask for it, and that way you don't have unpaid IRS workers doing work for you. Oh, well, that's interesting. Criminals. If well, that's you, first, consult a lawyer first. Yeah. Don't listen to him. <laughs> consult no, a lawyer first. You have to pay your taxes by yes. April 15th. Okay. But you don't have to file the form if you get an extension. If you're a criminal out there watching tonight, uh, don't commit crimes during the government shutdown. The FBI, the FBI honor. is not being paid. You're on your honor. Right? Just... Now, CNN is reporting, and do I have this right? CNN is reporting that, they, they call it exclusive, that they are drafting, the Trump administration is, as we speak, drafting the emergency declaration that will ask for $7 billion to build the wall, and they'll just do a end run around uh, constitutional norms and just go grab the money and take the land. Wow. Well, I saw that yeah, just before I came out. And uh, listen, <laughs> if that if if he declares a national emergency, this man is out of control. This is our country. We're a democracy. We're a free society. You know, if this were any other country, if it were Turkey or the Philippines or Russia, and they had an election and the ruler's party somehow lost half their legislative branch, like he did in November, and then that ruler declared a month later, "I'm shutting down the government." 
What would we call that if it were another country doing that? This guy doesn't want the government to be open. He certainly doesn't want the Department of Justice to be open. And, well, and I, I believe that and because I think, we're talking about this and not talking about the investigation right now. Exactly, exactly. So if he tries to pull a national emergency, we the people have to declare a national emergency. We have to nonviolently rise up. We have to take to the streets. We have to form, we have to build our own wall, a human wall around the White House. Around the White House. And peacefully, 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 nonviolent, nonviolent. Um, and this is nothing will stop a bully unless you stand up to the bully in the schoolyard. That's well, the only way. Speaking of which, what do you think? Uh, speaking of sp standing up to bullies, what do you think of what's happened with the Democratic Congress so far under the le leadership of Speaker Pelosi and some of the new members they have? Because is this the revolution that you were calling for the last time you were here? Are we looking at it? Yes, it happened. It happened. We're not done with it. We're not done with it. But we elected a whole bunch of great people. And you've had some of them on your show here. You had them on before they were elected. Uh, th this is this is a we good thing. We had them thing. on, therefore they were elected. That's it's what I meant to say. That's how that it's works. It's what I meant to say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, I I understand, and and uh, and you <laughs> and you've and you've had potential presidential candidates. You yeah, had somebody yeah. announced on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kirsten uh, Gillibrand. Uh, Kirsten yeah. Gillibrand. And and so, uh, you know, uh, yes, I'm very happy. I'm surprised that the old guard of the Democratic Party has not stood in their way, and in fact, has put. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez and Rashida Tlaib on the Oversight Committee. There are, you know, they Those are, are. They get to say, <laughs> call the Trump people in and say, yes. what did you do? The, the first uh, Muslim Palestinian woman in Congress and, the, and Alexandria Ocasio Cortez are going to be able to interrogate uh, on, the, on the beginnings of whenever the Trump impeachment starts. And it will start. It has to start. We have to. Yeah. You know, we got to go here in just a minute. I just oh, want to yeah. get to this Fahrenheit yeah, yeah. 11 9, your documentary. Oh, uh, it, yeah. it talks about how we got Trump in 2016. It's now available on Amazon. Yeah, and 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 um, uh, let me ask you this you're a celebrity and you're interested in politics. Do you believe that celebrities and politics deserve to mix, or or should you leave politics to the politicians and celebrities should shut up? Because a lot of people tell the guys like you, like Michael Moore, Hollywood. We don't want to hear what you have to yeah, say. Yeah, that's what the right wing says about Hollywood. All we're Hollywood elitists, but that's all they do. They run Hollywood. They run Reagan. They they run Trump. They run Schwarzenegger. They run Gopher from the Love Boat was uh, elected to Congress in Iowa. His Sonny name is Bono. Fred Grandy, sir. Oh, Fred Grandy. Okay. <laughs> don't you dare say one thing about Gopher. You'll always be Gopher to <laughs> Who's me. Who's next, Isaac Duck? Yes. You get off yes. my show. In fact, here's, here's... No, but seriously, you have to, because we've got to go to commercial. But I love having you here, but we've got to go to commercial. One final word. Uh-huh. <laughs> as, long, as long as you realize we're turning off the cameras. Go ahead. I'll say it to just to the people in tell here. The, tell the people right here. There's someone in this audience right now who, like Alexandria was two years ago, a 27-year-old bartender here in New York. One of you right now should think about running for Congress, for state senate, for state rep. Somebody's watching at home. Somebody's watching in a bar. So there's a bartender watching right now in a bar. Think of running. Think of running in 2020. Why not? It's our country. That's all I wanted to say. Beautiful. Good to see you, Michael. Thank you, brother. Fahrenheit 11.9 is now streaming on Amazon and available on